Hey guys, hey everybody, hello ladies and gentlemen, anybody going through uh, non-consensual human experimentation or any kind of tyranny, harassment, you know, gang stalking, uh, happy July 4th, happy July 4th, um, what do we, what do we celebrate today as, as people being targeted, um, and psychologically tortured, uh, and really held down uh, in our communities. What do we What do we celebrate today? I'm gonna get to that because um, I'm I'm pretty depressed. I was supposed to go to Florida with my family, but my grandma ended up staying in town, and I don't know. Um, I just there's a lot of problems there. Like I love my family, but I kind of didn't really get in gear to to go to Florida because I don't. Um, you know, a lot of my, uh, not my brother, my mom, my dad, well, my brother, but, like, my extended family, they kind of talk about what's going on with me and don't believe it, but they kind of talk about it as a family behind, not behind my back, but without me, and then they don't talk to me about it, and it's just very bizarre. Uh, it's very bizarre, so I didn't really struggle to get ready to go to Florida, and then I kind of just didn't go. Um, it's a bizarre, horrible thing. Um... Uh, it's a it's a really bad thing because I want to I want to see my family and stuff like that but it's just like we live in different realities. Um, ugh. Okay, I didn't want to start out with that. Uh, <laughs> I got uh, like I woke up this morning uh, and I went to walk Pepper and yesterday this older guy that that lives a couple of doors down uh, he always like he'll see me he'll be like hey Podna he's this older guy um, he gang stalks me. But, you know, I think a lot of us are, are pretty empathetic people. And I'm, I, I have some empathy, and I, I kind of read from him. Uh, you know, he's not a bad guy. Like, he really thinks he's, you know, taking care of his community. I think that's important sometimes for us to, to realize um, so we don't get super angry that a lot of people doing this to us, they just are very confused um, and ignorant of what's happening. It was funny, like this morning I went out to walk Pepper, it was about, you know, it was about 8.30, right, oh, sorry, uh, July 4th, obviously 2019, uh, it's about 9.20 a.m. where I am, but I was walking Pepper and like he came out right, right as I was going out, walking Pepper, he came out of his door to follow me out uh, with, and he took out his phone and he was like looking at me, and so I like turned around, I go, Happy July 4th! And I said it really loud and smiled. And it was it was like this, uh, you know, trying to make it awkward. Trying to kind of make it awkward. And he, like, looked confused, kind of. And he was like, hey, happy July 4th, partner. So, uh, it seemed to be a good way to kind of neutralize the situation. Um, just don't play into their game. You know, don't give them negative reactions. If it's not going to help, you know. Uh, but I, I really didn't want to talk about that. I kind of wanted to give an update. I wanted to tell y'all something that helped me a lot, but I wanted to give y'all an update. Uh, you know, what do we celebrate on July 4th? Because we're, um, you know, my parents, like right when I did, I texted them like an hour ago, and right when I start the video, they both start texting me back. Uh, this is just so, so bizarre. This shit is so bizarre, guys. Um, but I wanted to tell y'all, you know, my my V2K, the woman on it, just goes, this is sad. Like, because that's the psyop. She's sad that they're doing it or whatever, and she wants it to stop. Just bizarre. I was just going to try and make a short video. I was going to do a live stream, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of keep this short. I wanted to tell y'all the other night, like, I haven't been doing it much. Like, every night, I take these off. I use these all day, the direct transcranial stimulation. When I go to sleep at night, I put the grounding on my left leg. I have three grounding straps from earthing.com. And then Dave Case's CD and a couple of other things that I listen to. But the other night, like, I, I fell asleep in my, my leather chair, which I don't do much anymore because I don't have to climb into the Faraday bunker. I just lay down in my bed, so it's not that big of a deal. But I did end up falling asleep in my leather chair without Dave Case's CD, without the grounding. So I, I didn't have any of those defenses while I slept. 
and during the night I started having stabbing pains like and I could feel it. I could feel a soreness in my calf and then stabbing pains in my hip and it went over to the other side of my hip so they, and, and the high pitch sound was getting worse and worse, right? So they, my attackers were using remote neural manipulation to send pain. They send pain through your body, but with me, they're, they're manipulating, they're uh, stimulating the vagus nerve. So the pain signals have to go down and back up. And I've explained this a couple of times in my videos, uh, but... What happened is like what happens is like I, I use these defenses so it de-intensifies uh, it de-intensifies the pain that is going on with remote neural manipulation the pain in my targeting but since it keeps going on it keeps going on so long I kind of get used to that level of torture like a little bit of high pitch sound the V2K still headaches still a little bit of tingling pain in my back so it's still some torture from it uh, and I kind of forget. I forget how much those defenses are helping me, right? I still use them all the time, but I'm like, well, I'm still being tortured. And I, I just wanted to say, like, I'm going to kind of celebrate that today on July 4th. That's a freedom. You know, God has led me to some of these defenses, and I've looked for them. And um, I think every once in a while, this is kind of sick. This stuff is bizarre, but I'm going to have to, like, maybe not use the defenses for a couple of days to remember how bad it is, to remember, to, to, Remember how hopeful that is that I've found things that can de-intensify it a lot. But I wanted to tell you all about that because it was a huge difference. It was a massive difference. Like the whole day I felt because you have nerve clusters in your hip. You have this huge cluster of nerves like in your hip and like around your kidneys but really like in the, in the back of your hips. Uh, so, so they did that. They like I didn't have my defenses on. They really pumped things up with the remote neural manipulation, and then that day, the next day, yesterday, I, I, was, I felt like my back was broken. I was having a hard time walking around. Um, so I'm going to be thankful for that. Uh, you know that I found some things that give me hope, and I hope that y'all do too. I don't want to like force y'all to use the exact same defenses that I use, but I do want to offer them and say this is working for me, and just tell y'all about them. So you know, so if you can use them too. Um, I would really, this is what I would suggest if, if y'all do want to do it, and some people have tried it, but I'd really suggest if you feel like they're attacking your feet, or you feel like you get stabbing pains in your hips, and it doesn't seem to be external hits, at a certain point it becomes hard to tell when they're doing it for so long, uh, but I would, I would really recommend to you guys, you know, Dave Case's CD, let me go ahead and pull up, just pull up that, um, webpage really quick. And I say I know I say this over and over, but just for anybody that's new to my channel, um, I do want to kind of say it over so people know. Dave Case's CD from Anti Tinnitus V2K.com, uh, and and it's you just pay for shipping, um, and then from Earthing.com. What I would really suggest, and I know not everybody's going to be able to do this, um, but if you do, if you can spend like, let's see, 35 plus 35, that's uh, $70. Like if you have $70, I would get two of the body band kits and put three, at least three, but I'm, I may be starting to put four on this left leg because your vagus nerve runs down there. So if you feel like you're getting remote neural manipulation, I just really, really suggest that. It may not make a whole lot of sense to you guys. It may not make a whole lot of sense to people, but it really helps because Dave Case's CD tones down what's coming in. It tones down the remote neural manipulation at the, the point of the brain. Um, and then the grounding on the left leg is then, uh, is then uh, making the skin less conductive, but it's also grounding out the, some, of those artif some of the artificial signals that are running through this vagus nerve that runs through the calf. Um, not, not the calf, the, uh, the shin. But, um, so, so I wanted to tell you all about that because it was a huge difference. And I forget sometimes because my, uh, my memory is being smashed. My head's being smashed in my face, my jaw. Uh, so I still deal with things. But that was this huge difference that I had kind of forgotten how bad it could get. Uh, I get I get used to a certain level of torture, and I'm like, well, I'm still tired. I'm still being tortured. But then I go one night without the defenses that I'm 
consistently using and it was like unbearable pain to my hip and my back. Uh, so I wanted to let y'all know about that. Now, I also want to let y'all know about this. Um, and, oh, I wanted to go to earthing.com real quick. I just want to show y'all earthing.com. Any kind of earthing is going to help, guys. Uh, but I, I really, really would suggest uh, grounding your left leg. If you feel like they're attacking your feet or you're getting remote neural manipulation through your body that doesn't seem to be external, doesn't seem to be an external microwave hit, really, really suggest it. So I want to go to the, the body bands. See, these are some of them right here. And I'm going to keep this short. I just got a couple more things to say. I really hope all of you are doing well. I, I'm kind of like, oh, July 4th. Wow, I'm not free. Everybody's celebrating their freedom. Free spiritually. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you all how I'm kind of thinking on that. Um, we, we've got to utilize and be thankful for whatever positive things that we have left in our life to use in any kind of hope in anything that makes you happy or makes you feel like you can get through this pull closer to that today and be thankful for those things i know that like a, there's a lot of ignorant americans and a lot of uh, well, yeah i guess july 4th is is just america but uh there's a lot of ignorant americans out there yeah freedom and we fought for freedom and everybody's free and nobody should be complaining uh, and that's just not the truth a lot of people are being you know, psychologically tortured 24 hours a day, physically tortured 24 hours a day. I think we should still celebrate the idea, though. We should still celebrate that our, our founding fathers fought for freedom. They'd be rolling in their graves right now, but they did celebrate a freedom that we're fighting for, right? I sometimes, it's like, I know this is kind of a bizarre, sad joke, uh... I feel like I have freedom like the guy, like Mel Gibson in Braveheart when his guts are being ripped out and he's screaming out freedom, right? Uh, but we have to fight for freedom. We've got to take any kind of freedoms that we have in our life, any kind of hope, anything that, that makes us stronger. And trust me, guys, like I'm giving myself this, my own advice. Yesterday was just a black, dark hole um, of isolation and how can I even get back into life like sometimes I'm like I've been isolated for so long and going through this so I don't even how would I get back to a normal life uh, and sometimes I think you know well maybe I can't maybe I've just got to move forward you know I've just got to move forward with this and whatever kind of positive thing that I can move on to next and I got to forget about making it like it once was you know we, we've got to do that um, see, okay, so this is the, the body band. There's a body band kit for $35 with, with both of these. And I put one, one that's made for the leg and two that are made for the arm, really. And I put them, like, lower down on my leg. So I, I do want to just reiterate that because it was just such a major difference. It's like my attackers cannot do that. When I have the grounding on and Dave Case's CD... But also, in the, during the day, I don't use Dave Case CD. I just use the earthing bands, um, and they usually can't give me a lot of pain in my back. So it has a lot to do with artificial pain signals. All right, they're doing the remote neural manipulation, sending signals to the brain. But then your brain has to communicate that to whatever part of the body. And this is just one angle. They can't actually hit organs and stuff like that with direct hits, right? There's other things. But this is one angle of the targeting that it's like um, this grounding on the left leg uh, can, can really cut down on it. If they're attacking your feet or you get stabbing pains in your hip, you feel like they, they're put like uh, almost a fibromyalgia type pain, but it's an artificial fibromyalgia type pain. It's very important. They're, they're stimulating probably in a lot of you guys and a lot of targeted individuals with the remote neural manipulation because it's happening to me. So I assume that it's happening to a lot of other target individuals. They're using the vagus nerve, they're stimulating the vagus nerve, and a bunch of other nerves that run to the body come off the vagus nerve, right? So they can make you feel pain like on the right side of your body by stimulating the vagus nerve because there are a bunch of nerves that uh, run to the right side of the body. I'd really, oh, it's $89.99? Oh, that's the book too, okay. That's with the book, but you can just get the, um, it's like 35 35 for the uh 
for the two straps. I really suggest it, guys. I'm just suggesting and telling y'all it works for me. I, that's one thing I've got to do. Like if it, you know, I, I can't, I can't force people to use stuff. And I know a lot of people are using, uh, you know, some defenses that I that I've said. Uh, but sometimes I can't. Like some people are like, yeah, it's working for me, and they, you know, tell me. But I'm not, you know, seeing everybody that's using it. So sometimes I'm like, oh man, people aren't, you know, people aren't using those defenses. It's a, a, another kind of uh, part of the psychological remote neural manipulation uh, that my attackers are doing to me, making me feel. Uh, make me feel negative, make me feel doubtful, and things like that. We can get past those things. They're artificial. I call it Scarecrow. It's Scarecrow shit. Uh, like, in, like in Batman, when Scarecrow does the fear talks, and it's not really Batman. It's, I'm nerding out right now, so I'll stop doing that. Uh, I, I, you know, but... Okay, and then what else? I, let, me, let me show you, okay, let me show you all this. Um... This helped me too last night. Uh, usually if you're getting remote neural manipulation, you're going to be getting uh, some NLP during the night. Like you're going to get stuff that bypasses your conscience that you maybe don't hear. Even if you get audible V2K, you're probably also getting uh, NLP. So they're running something constantly like, oh, you're tired, you, you want to quit, stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know. Negative stuff though negative stuff that goes to your subconscious. So what I found is very helpful when I use, I put on Dave Case's CD. Let me tell you, tell you all what I did last night. Put on Dave Case's CD on repeat and then uh, played this and it's three hours. Uh, it's, it's like alignment affirmation. So it's somebody like saying positive affirmations about problem solving, overcoming obstacles, um, feeling happier, feeling more hopeful and things like that. I feel like it's a very good weapon and it's something that cuts in to some of that NLP that's going straight to your subconscious that you can't hear but you can feel it over time because they're using remote neural manipulation frequencies to the brain right to make us more depressed and things like that actually affecting some deep brain structures that that go along with that but uh but also they're they're doing NLP to uh, the, the bypasses the conscious and goes straight to the subconscious. We can really combat it with some things that we can hear during the night, maybe subconsciously, that are positive, and it can cancel that out, right? So I wanted to tell you all about those two things and just kind of offer them up. Uh, it's such a huge difference, guys. Like I haven't I haven't slept on my leather chair without defenses in so long. Uh, but I did. I did the other night, and it was just a, like, my attackers, you, they, they were like, okay, oh, he doesn't have his defenses on, let's do it tonight. And they really worked on it, and, like, by the morning, it felt like my back was broken. During the night, I couldn't sleep on this hip, right? Uh, but, like, last night, using the grounding and Dave Case's CD and some of these other things, like, I, I do these, like, there's a lot of them that we can try, like this one. This rising higher meditation seems to be very good. Um, also, praying before you go to bed too. You know, put in put in whatever kind of spirituality and your belief in God. And like, you know, I'll do the mantra: Jesus Christ is my Savior to block out the V2K. But with all those things combined, it really gives me some peace. I can go to sleep and things like that. Um, I, I mix I mix this with. Um, with ocean sounds, with ocean sounds, and then uh, played some Lindsey Sterling, the violin, with Dave Case CD, and then I can I can barely hear the V2K because there's all these things mixing in, right? Um, but so okay, so so I just wanted to show you all those things, and it was just such a huge difference. Sometimes I forget, like because I'm it's happening for so long. I keep I'm consistently using these defenses, so my torture gets to a certain level, right? Like, it, it was at this level before the defenses, then I bring it down, I bring it down, but then it goes on and on and on, and I get used to this level of torture, and I'm like, oh, this sucks, and I feel bad, and I'm not as grateful as I should be that i found some things that super, super work, right? Um, and I guess that's all I want to show y'all. I just wanted to make a quick video and say, like, on, on this July 4th, you know, I, I woke up and I was like, what do we celebrate? What do I celebrate? Like, I said, I actually said it out loud in my room. I was like, what, what do we celebrate? Every, you know, we're, we're not free. 
You know, we don't get to live free like other citizens. Spiritually, we're free in a lot of ways. Like, and we have to we have to find ways with our perception and our perspective to feel free because we can. I mean, I drove out yesterday and got some Kentucky Fried Chicken, and I was able to do things so I can act. I can, you know, do things. I can take action. Uh, and those things haven't been taken away from me. There's a lot of things that haven't been taken away from us. We have to fight with those things. Um, and celebrate love. You know, love really is real. Um, you know, I love you guys. I love all target individuals. I, cause I, even target individuals that I don't know. Because I know how much pain you're going, in, going through. Especially if you're a target individual that maybe hasn't found anything that helps. I, you know, because I, I still feel a lot of pain, even though I found some defenses that really help. I really love you guys, because I know what you're going through, and you are heroes. You are heroes going through this. There's no doubt, no doubt about that. No human beings have gone through this kind of prolonged, awful torture ever in history. It's never, there's never been torture like this throughout history. There's been torture, but never like this. Never prolonged for your whole life. Um... But we got to grab onto those things. What makes you feel free, right? Like so, so, you know, I don't. I feel like what do I? What am I celebrating on Fourth of July? Because this country has taken the freedoms of so many Americans. Um, but I can go today, and I can spend time with my grandma. Maybe go get some chicken or some kind of food. I guess I've been eating a lot of chicken lately. Um, so I can go over there and hang out with her and really love my grandma, I can do those things, they can't take that away, um, and I can keep fighting, you know, and I can keep fighting too, um, so I just wanted to say those quick things, I'm kind of, my, my, like, my cheek and my jaw get messed up, and, uh, I have some pretty, still some pretty bad headaches, um, so I haven't, uh, you well, I've made, I've been making a lot of videos lately, just, I, I have, like, I, I have to kind of, I'm thinking. I'm thinking about it. Um, I don't want to stop making videos, but I might have to do. I might, mm. cause my attacker the other night after the live stream, cause I've been putting out really hardcore evidence, and after the live stream, I'm not sure if I told y'all this, but um, the guy, the male attacker on the B2K, and he's never said this. He's like, that's the last night. So they're getting very angry about my videos. They're getting very angry that I'm putting this information out, and then they're shooting pain through my face and my cheek which they've done before but they really pump it up to give me these horrendous headaches like horrendous headaches where i can't think at all um so i'm gonna have to find a balance between putting out information and neutralizing my attackers because it seems like if i do certain things it tones them down uh, and if i do other things and i make them very mad i make them look bad like they're not handling me um you know, they, they really attack me in certain ways where I can't do as good. I can't uh, get the information out as well. Um, so I, I'm just going to be working on that. But um, but I love you guys. Like, please uh, contact me at VulcanWolverine at gmail.com. I just I hope you all have a good 4th of July. Find things that make you feel free. I know it's not, it's like very bizarre. Like, a very bizarre, when I walked out with my dog and this old guy was, like, gang-stalking me on the 4th of July where we're supposed to be celebrating freedom. And in his stupid head, he's like, oh, we're free, we're taking care of our communities. And I'm being murdered in my home, and he's being lied to, and he's gang-stalking me. And, I mean, people are doing this to me all the time. People are doing this to, to you guys, like, all the time. Um, it gets really bizarre. It gets really bizarre. But we just got to keep our perspective and our um, our perception about us, you know, and and go towards love. Go through, go to things that are going to give you strength. Uh, we're still here. We're still alive, right? And I know a lot of tar We've lost a lot of targeted individuals, but we've got to keep fighting and finding love and freedom, um, you know, for those guys, for them. You know, we have to we have to make something out of this. Um, we do. We do, and we will, and we will. So I just, I just wanted to uh, kind of. I hope, I hope the message. Like I've been getting uh, really jammed in the head, uh, severe psychological torture with physical torture to the head uh, to make it more efficient for my attacker. So um, I hope this was clear. 
just uh, my head's, you know, I, I know a lot of you guys understand my head's just filling up with stuff, uh, and trauma, and just like, uh, you know, YouTube's crazy, and, um, you know, the world's crazy, people are crazy, people really want to believe in things, um, you know, and they kind of just believe in anything. Uh, I think we've got to think about these gang stalkers as some of them like that. Some of them are trash. Some of them are just complete trash. But some of them like this old guy. Like, he wants to do the right thing in his life. He, you know, he knows that things are bad in communities and there's terrorists everywhere. You know, that, that old uh, false flag. Um, and he th he's, he's looking to believe in something. Uh, and he's believing in the wrong thing. And a lot of people are doing that with a lot of things. So let's just keep our wits about us. Let's keep going. I'm going to celebrate, celebrate July 4th by, you know, appreciating what freedom I do have, what miracles that God has put in my path. You guys, you guys, thank you for your support on all my videos. I hope I'm putting out information that can, uh, that's more concrete so we can all understand what's, what's going on moving forward. We can all get on the same page. It's very important. It's very important that we get as close as we can to evidence. Like we're not, maybe we won't find current documents right now about exact protocols that they're doing with neuro weapons and stuff like that. But we can find things from the past. We can find, you know, maybe we will find those things. But you know, un until then, until we can just find that hardcore paperwork from those contractors from the DoD. We got to get the evidence as close as we can. That's why I'm showing like the Directed Energy uh, Summit. That's the, that's the organi organizational structure that's doing this to us. Not exactly Booz Allen Ham might not be Booz Allen Hamilton, but the military industrial complex has set up a pretty complicated pyramid of contractors, subcontractors, universities, and hospitals under the DOD, under the CIA, the DIA, the Pentagon. Um, so. You know, showing those organizations, talking about all the directed energy programs, it can help us to get as close as we can, right, to the, to concrete information, so we can know what's going on, so we can defend better, so we can speak about it better. You know, um, so so that's all I have today, guys. I just uh, I hope y'all have a great July Fourth. Even though this is happening to you, even though this is happening to you, you're gonna have good moments. You're gonna have happy moments. You're gonna have things that you can enjoy. You know, and that's what I'm going to focus on today. Hanging out with my grandma, eating some good food. Um, you know, even though she doesn't understand this, she still loves me and I still love her. So let's just focus on what we do have. Um, let's just focus on what we do have. We do have we do have a spiritual freedom. We're fighting for more freedom. And I feel like every day, if we can do this right, if, if and, and it will happen. So many people are speaking out, right? So many targeted individuals are speaking out. You know, we'll get more and more freedom every day. Um, things are getting pretty bad, you know, so I don't want to say everything's going to be great. You know, America and all these other countries, we're just going to go back to this awesome way that it was. But was it ever, was it ever, like, maybe that was just my perception as a kid. You know, I'm sure there were people when I was a kid who were getting persecuted and tortured by this very thing that I'm getting tortured by. You know, and I, I was like, oh, everything's great. So kind of kind of think about that too, about like maybe when you didn't know how bad things were for people, it can help you to go easier, not hate people that are maybe participating in this. Not not the killers. Don't ever forgive them. Okay, I don't want to say that, but you know you don't have to go easy on them. They're murderers. But people who are just doing simple gang stalking and they're, they're just dumb. They just don't understand what's going on. They want to believe that their communities are being taken care of. They want to believe that they're a part of that and therefore they're being pulled into some evil lie. And there are a lot of them that are just trash and they just want to harass people. Um, but we do, we do have to kind of differentiate because we can actually get those good people that think they're doing good, we can try and, because they've been weaponized, they're human beings that have been weaponized, so what we got to do is neutralize them and then turn them back around. Because they're weapons, so we point them back at the evil. We give them the right information so and then they will hopefully, hopefully start doing the right thing. Um, but all right, guys, I just wanted to say a short, you know, happy July 4th. I really wanted, to, the main thing was just the, when I didn't use my defenses the other night, horrible, horrible pain in my hips and my back, which I have not been experiencing every night when I use Dave Case's CD and the grounding on the left leg. Left leg important, your vagus nerve runs down the left 
uh, the left side of your body. So it's it's very very worth it. Um, all right, guys, I love y'all. Uh, more to come, you know. I've, I've got to kind of find a balance though, because my attackers are just chewing me up uh, with with psychological torture. Um, and the remote neural manipulation, a lot of it, like I'm blocking a lot of it, they're getting a lot through, um, so I'm gonna have to find a balance with, uh, with the information that I get out, because it's really, really good information, uh, we should all be putting out information like this, so many, well, so many targeted individuals are speaking out and putting out great information, uh, but I remember Neil, uh, he's a, he's a moderator, Neil, uh, Cheve, um, we were talking about it once on his call, and he was like, you know, you gotta choose you have to pick a level. Like you've got to make a balance between your activism and how much your attackers are are just nailing you, because you know there's built-in mechanisms uh, for this for information not to get out in the system. I feel like one of them is peer pressure for for these uh, contractor teams that are on us. Like if if you're putting out this great information and you're feeling good, right? When I got my main channel back. And I was putting out really good information. I started feeling more confident and like, oh man, I'm making some headway. I'm building up. When when you feel like you're building up, that's when your attackers are going to step in and be like, no, can't let that happen. You know, we cannot let uh, we can't let the the steam engine uh, keep on rolling, right? But but we'll figure it out and get it and get a good balance. I will um, never stop fighting this evil. Um, but I just want to, you know. And I, and I made a video like two days ago. I was going to say, like, I haven't been making videos in a while. YouTube really screws me up, guys. Um, it, yeah, it's good to get the information out. It's a good place to get the information out. But uh, it's kind of a, I don't know. I watch other people, not other TI's videos, but other, like, kind of truther communities and uh, people who investigate stuff. And it gets really, uh, it's really bizarre. Just the whole culture of YouTube. Mm. So good things about it. Let's take the good. That's it. Okay, let's bottom line. Take the good out of everything that you can. And leave the bad. Leave the stuff that's, you know, that's just, uh, that's, that's gonna, um, you know, give you negative emotions and negative thoughts and stuff like that. Alright guys, I love y'all. Uh, that's about it for today. I really hope y'all have a good July 4th. And much more to come. I will see y'all in the next one.